Praise the Lord. Greetings to everyone in the name of Jesus. I thank God in the name of Jesus for being here in this platform. Welcome everyone to this live video. I'm happy to see your names. The Lord has given me a word to share with you. The word is from the book of Romans chapter 8. The 38-39 words. I have put the caption as nothing can separate us from Jesus. So I will read the word. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So this is a powerful word. Um, I will share this word later. Now I find this time to welcome everyone. So welcome uh, everyone to this live video. God is going to establish you. So greater things God will do in your life. What all things that come in your life may be good or bad, but everything will God can make it good because He is our God. So this is the uh, subject that I am sharing with you. Welcome everyone. So you like the video also, like the uh, page, like the page and like the video. So I am, I am really, I am giving the word now I find this time like the page and like the page. hallelujah welcome everyone here so I can see your names here uh, welcome Sharai Colondono story <coughs> healing over your skin promises are come to pass everything will go well physically healed and payment is done Chains are broken and everything will go well. Financial blessings are coming. Welcome Apostle Richard Simmons. You will see open heaven. And infection is healed. And eyes are open. You will stay in the new location. Promises are come to pass. And you will buy the land. Audrey's, Audrey Rose Rajkumar. The doors are opening for you and promotion in your life. Do not be upset, says the Lord. Everything will go well and the funds will be released. You will get the new job and things will be going favorable in the name of Jesus. Welcome Sister Kamina Ravo Achari. The disease that... Uh, yeah, I sense there is a disease that um, you should have to take that you or should have to take medicines for a long time but you are healed, physically healed and financial areas are blessed and the Lord will separate you from all the worldly things and keep a distance from all the things and everything will go well. Welcome Sister Stephros. God is going to enlarge your boundaries. And payment is done and chains are broken. Eyes are opened and you will fly. Greater things you will see. The power of enemy is defeated and God will establish you. Welcome Sister Remia Rai. Children will be honored. You will fight the battle and God will fight for you. Everything will go well. Peace at home. Restoration in family life. Welcome Sister Kimberly Kochensi Pask. Sudden changes are coming in your life. Greater things you will see. Coming out from all depression, you will be established and you will stay in the new villa. Everything will go well. Welcome Sister Gigi Charyan. New languages are given, efficiency and money to travel 
promises are come to pass. Everything will go well in the name of Jesus. Welcome brother Juan Chavas. There is a long journey there. The enemy is defeated and God is going to open the doors for you. Do not be upset. Everything will come well and you will stay in the new place. Welcome uh, Sister Sandy Beach. The fire of the Lord is coming upon you. Settlement in house affairs and the domestic things will be blessed. Your cattle will be blessed and money will be released. Do not be upset says the Lord and everything will go well and you will have a new address. You will eat good food. Mommy Jacquus, I see the name Mommy Jacquus, flight travel and healing over your skin. Infection is healed, payment is done. Promises are come to pass. Very soon you will see happiness and deliverance is at the door, coming out from all the negative thoughts. Welcome Sister Serena Sati. You will write the book and problems are solved. Family will be blessed. You will stay in the new house. Everything will go well. Do not be upset, says the Lord. New languages are given in the name of Jesus. Welcome Sister Tonja Rana Thomas. A travel is there, long journey is there. You will stay in a, a foreign nation and promises are come to pass. Everything will go well and payment will be done at the right time. Do not be upset, says the Lord. Kim Michelli Kunesbury. The Lord is going to honor you. Family is uh, restored and reposition is coming. Challenges are there, but everything will be settled. God will honor you and financial blessings are coming. Clarissa de la Cruz, uh, you and your family will do the ministry of the Lord. The boundaries are going to extend. Greater things you will see. Do not be upset, says the Lord. And uh, you will stay in the new house. Promotion in your life. Welcome, Sister Priscilla Nanjana. Eyes are open, new house and marriage is coming everything will go well you will stay in the town and greater things you will see do not be upset welcome dc anderson the stomach problems are healed that is affecting the liver are healed and you will write the book and you will stay in new house everything will go well and you will stay in the new promises. Welcome sister Shondi Anderson. Sudden changes are coming. The enemy is defeated. Your address is going to change. You will be honored and greater things will happen and promotion in your life in the name of Jesus and things will be going very fast in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So this is the word and uh, Anna Louis sister, new languages are given, family is blessed, thyroid is healed and you will stay in new house. The Lord has separated for you for the kingdom and do not be upset. The Lord will honor you at the right time and everything will go well. Apostle E. Gold financial breakthrough and money to travel, family peace and everything will come at the right time. You will sign the new documents. There will be supply of electricity. Welcome sister Candy's beloved. Chains are broken, healing over your skin. The Lord will visit you. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. And coming out from all the pain in your heart is relieved. You are coming out from all depression. God is going to enlarge your territory. 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So you keep on commenting and also you like the video. I will share the word a little and then I will uh, come back and give the word as the Lord leads. So this is the word that I am sharing with you. I will read it. I have put the caption as I have put the caption as uh, you know, nothing can separate us from Jesus. Here Paul is saying, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels because uh, he, the, this word has very much meaning not that neither death death means even he is ready to give his life for Jesus even if he is even if he has to become a martyr he is ready with uh, his full mind he has no hesitation to give his life for Jesus. That is what he is saying. Even neither death nor life. That means any any worldly worldly life, worldly blessings, and angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God. So it means it's a very powerful word. You know when people come to the church they come to the church with great expectation that they will get the blessing. People when they take baptism they think that they will get the blessing immediately. So when the blessings are not seen, they began to think why it is delayed, why the blessing is delayed. God told the Israelites when they were treated as slaves in Egypt, I am going to give you a land where milk and honey are flowing. So everyone came out from Egypt with a great expectation. But they had to pass through the test. So they failed in the test. Today also, believers, they think that they will get the blessing immediately. Jesus came into this world not to give you blessing, but to give you eternity for your redemption. To crucify for you, to get crucified for your sins. That's why Jesus came. In, in addition to it, we will get the blessing. So people who does not have that knowledge, they pray to Jesus uh, for, a, for an earthly blessing. If they don't get that earthly blessing, they will backslide. They will stop going to church. They will stop reading Bible. They will go back into their traditional uh, circumstances. So it is very important that uh, Jesus came for your redemption, for to give you salvation. Th that's why Jesus came. When the disciples were sent, they did many miracles and they were happy. They came happily because signs and wonders are coming in the name of Jesus through their hands. <coughs> But Jesus said, do not be happy because you are doing miracles. Be happy because your name is written in the name of, in the book of life. Today, when you, when you are watching this live video, when you woke up morning, when you woke up in the morning, how many of you are happy because your name is written in the book of heaven? I sense that many of you are not happy because many problems are affecting you. Many earthly, worldly problems are creating uh, uh, depression in your mind. So you cannot become happy. You have many prayer requests. I am not saying to any, any particular person. I am uh, saying generally. So many, many people cannot be happy. They cannot be happy because they have a great expectation. 
that when they take baptism and when they join the church, they are looking into the life of Obedodom because the Ark of Covenant when placed in Obedodom's house, he was blessed. He was blessed every day. So some people think after hearing these kind of messages, these people think that when Obedodom was, was blessed because the Ark of Covenant was placed in his house, when we take the baptism also, we will also be blessed like that. So with such impressions, with uh, such uh, thoughts in their mind, they, join, they take baptism and they join the church. But they do not know before the blessing there is a wilderness. Before the blessing there is a test. They do not know. They are looking into, uh, uh, they are looking, the widow in the, in the town, in the place of Naim, you know, she did not pray, but Jesus restored his son back to life. And uh, they are looking, uh, everyone uh, who, who Jesus met on the street was healed. Every, everyone uh, Jesus met on the way were healed. So immediately without any repentance, they are healed. Because during that time, Jesus had to heal those people to bring others into faith. But you are called for eternity. Those people who were healed at the time of Jesus were not in the book of life. Everyone were not be in the, in the book of life. We cannot, we may not see them in the eternal world because uh, it is not sure that uh, they got the healing, but we are not sure whether their names are written in the book of life. Jesus fed many people. He fed um, uh, many people in his ministry, 7,000 and 5,000. But after eating the food, after getting healed, they went their homes. They did not follow Jesus. Ten lepers were healed. But only one came to testify Jesus. Others went to their own business. So people when they join the church, they are thinking that the Gentiles, you know, even the Gentiles, that means uh, the outside people, they are thinking that when they come to Jesus, they are healed. It is sure that if anyone's name is not written in the book of heaven, in the book of life, immediately they are healed. Today also it is happening like that. Even the Gentiles are healed. Those people whose names are not written in the book of life, who, are, who has not been determined to go to eternity, are healed and they are receiving blessings immediately. But I tell you, if you are called for eternity, you won't get the blessing immediately. You will have to pass through the wilderness. You have to receive Holy Spirit. You have to come out from all your tradition. You cannot stay in the tradition anymore. Your life will be a new life. So that is what uh, uh, Paul is saying. Nothing can separate us. Nothing can separate means uh, even death, life, the worldly things. Nothing can separate. So if you are a true believer, you will follow Bible. You won't go after blessing. You, are, you will follow Jesus. The method of Jesus is cross. So you have to carry cross. You have to find happiness in cross. You know, in the book of uh, uh, Philippians, Chapter 1, 29th verse, it says, um, it, it is a grace of God to carry the cross, not only to believe in Jesus, but to suffer for his name. So it is a grace. So you should not, I'm, I'm telling this because I like uh, to read the epistles of Paul the Apostle because uh, he is actually focusing everyone to grow in Christ. In, in a... Actually, he's, uh, he wants everyone to grow in Christ. So, a person who wants to grow in Christ 
will like to read the book of uh, what Paul has mentioned, uh, what Paul has written. He likes to read the epistles of Paul. So I tell you, the enemy is trying many problems. The enemy is trying many problems to hinder. But you have to focus on Jesus. You have to focus on Jesus. That is what Paul is saying. Nothing can separate us. When you are in the church, the enemy will bring depression in your mind. He will, he will tell you, the enemy will show you those who are blessed. Yesterday I was uh, counseling a person. He is a believer. And he has a high calling also. He is a believer. I was counseling him. And uh, I... And he, he is having some pain in the body. So I was praying and I told him you should not be afraid because of your pain in the body. You rely on Jesus. And he is thinking that he will die. I, I told him you, you don't even uh, be scared when you even if you die because if you die you, you can see Jesus. You, your, your thought should be like that. You, your belief should be like that. You, when you live you, Jesus is with you. When you live, Jesus is with you. When you die, you are with Jesus. That is, that is the situation. So, when you are living in this, I told that person, when you are living in this world, Jesus is with you. When you die, you are with Jesus. So, it is same. Everything is same. So, these things are not separating Paul. That is what Paul is saying, death nor life. Death means uh, these things like disease or any other, um, any other thing that may frighten a person. Like the calamities. People are afraid of the calamities because they, they think that they, have, they will face death. They are afraid because they, they think that the tsunami will take away their life. The sea erosion will take their life. The earthquakes will take their life. They are afraid. That is why Paul is mentioning death. But Paul is not afraid. That's why when he was in chain in prison, when he was going to be beheaded, when you read the book of 2 Timothy, you can see just before going to be beheaded, Paul is writing a letter to Timothy. You come, please come and take um, whatever I have written. So he is writing. How can a man write when he is going to be beheaded? He is seeing everything that the next day, the next hour, he is going to be killed. He is going to be beheaded. But how can a person, the, the last chapter, the second Timothy, it was written just before he was going to be beheaded. So how can a person write an epistle like that? Only a person who says, who believes that nothing can separate even from death. So Paul has showed his life like that. So nothing can separate us. Nothing, no blessing. That is blessing. If people are after the blessing, they will they will find depressed. They will if they are not getting blessing, they will they will stop praying. They will stop going to church. That is what Paul is saying. Life. Here Paul is saying two things: death nor life. Death means uh, like this. Um, uh, afraid of the uh, real death when there is a calamity like earthquake or even someone is going to uh, the militants the terrorists uh, trying to kill the bomb blast like that so nothing can separate the life means the worldly blessings the worldly blessings the marriage house if people are not getting they will get depressed but here Paul is not getting depressed. If you are depressed, that means you cannot find the love of Jesus in your life. How can a person get depressed when Jesus died for you? 
If you love your lover, that means your husband, your wife, or whomever you are loving, your child, if you if you realize that person is loving you, how can you get depressed? Because that person is loving you. So Jesus died for you on the cross. So how can you get depressed? If you are getting depressed because you are not getting the blessing. You have the prophecies but it has not come to pass. So you are depressed. Why Joshua is not depressed? Why Caleb is not depressed? Because they have a different spirit. That is the spirit of God. They are not bothered whether they are entering the promised land. They are focusing on God. They, they want to be with God. They, they are actually, they know that they will live in this world, in the land where milk and honey are flowing only for a certain period. But they are focusing on the eternal eternity. So they are not bothered whether they, they will enter the promised land or not. But they want to be with God throughout their life. So that is what Paul is saying. Nothing can separate us, death nor life. Here we can see the angels. Paul is mentioning angels. You know, some people are worshipping the saints. Some people are praying. They are giving importance for the angels or the, uh, the saints. You know, giving much importance for any man of God or uh, woman of God. That is what your Paul is saying. Um, some people say, I go to that church. That church is a big church. So I will be blessed. If you go to every church, everywhere you can see Jesus. Everyone is preaching Jesus. So it is not the church that is going to take you deliverance or to give you eternity. It is the word of God that is giving you deliverance and eternity. So that is why Paul is saying your angels, mentioning your angels. So these all things, nothing can separate from the true love of Jesus. Some people say, I belong to a certain denomination. Some people say, I am, I am so and so. I am not telling, I am mentioning any denomination. Some people say, I am in that denomination. But the Bible is not uh, stating any denomination. It is uh, uh, stating only Gentiles and believers, those who are in Christ, those who are not in Christ. And Bible is not mentioning any Gentiles or any other name. So some people say, uh, uh, I, am, I belong to such denomination. But uh, here Paul is saying, nothing can separate us. The denomination, the angels, the life or death, Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. So when you love Jesus, you don't think like these things. You, you won't speak like these things. You won't be afraid of your death. You won't be much excited because of any blessing. You won't be much happy. The same you will have. You will have a, the same attitude. If you are blessed more, or if you are going through the wilderness, the same will be your attitude. Because when Paul was in prison, he was praising God. When Daniel was in lion's den, he was praising God. When Paul was doing the miracles, signs and wonders, he was having the same attitude. So nothing can change his attitude. His attitude towards Christ is love, true love. So that is what Paul is saying. Nothing can separate us. So this is the word. So I will give the word to everyone. Those who have not received. I am happy to see every one of you here. So God is going to change your life. Your life is going to change. When you realize that uh, you are a powerful man in Christ Jesus. So... You like the video. So Linda Williams, financial breakthrough. Chains are broken. Healing over your skin. The Lord will bless your generation. You will have a family status. Welcome sister Daira Eva. Flight travels are there. Infection is healed. 
the sinus is sealed. A new journey is there. Greater things you will see. The money will be released. Welcome sister Norma Garsa. Lifestyle is changing. Do not be upset. You will, you will see greater things. And financial blessings are coming. Payment is done. And allergy is zeal. You will stay in the new villa. Barb, I see the name. Judy Collins. Financial area plus your body pain is healed. Payment is done. Do not be upset. The dispute regarding the land is going to cease. And infection is healed. Pavitra Ekula sister. The healing is coming over your body and you will be well settled and you, your children will have provision. You don't lack anything and peaceful stay is coming. Everything will go well. Welcome sister Shirley Augustine. Greater things you will do. You will write the book and the Lord will bring you out from all the negative thoughts and allergies healed, you will stay in the new villa and promises are come to pass. Welcome Stephen D. Nilo. Receive the power of God and go deep into the world and God will enlarge your territory. You will fight the battle and God will fight for you and everything will go perfect. The Lord will give you Holy Spirit. Go deep into the world. Lily Sugawa sister. New chapter is beginning. You will visit your native place. Your mother's place. And sinus is sealed. Long journeys are there. The booking time is over. Everything will go well. Welcome. Hallelujah. Pastor Brian Hud. Allergy is sealed. You will stay in the town and financial doors are opening, agreements are executed and physically healed, new house you will get. Hallelujah. So I am, uh, I am trying to watch those who have liked the, like the video. I am trying, I am trying to access into it. So I am checking, hallelujah. So this is the word, do not be upset. Things will be moving very fast. So everything will go perfect. I see the names here. Um, Dennis Thomas, there is a flight travel. Chains are broken. Physically healed. You will get the visa stamped. And you will have financial breakthrough. Brother Franklin, protection from pandemic. The Lord will use you powerfully in the ministry. You are called as an apostle. And peace at home. Family status you are getting. Shari Butler, sister. New journeys are coming. And God will establish you. The own people have rejected you, but God is going to give you honor. Everything will go well. Welcome John Mondialia Manyang. The government will approve it. Peace at home. Financial blessings. And agreements are executing. You will stay in new house. Sissy Alex. New job you are getting. And do not be upset. You will go abroad and financial blessings. New house you will stay in and family is blessed. Healing over your skin. Welcome sister. Hopeful one. You will get the job and marriage is coming. Greater things you will see. You will stay peacefully. You will have peaceful stay. And finance, finance is opening for you. KFC, KFC. New car is coming. Allergy is sealed. Do not be upset. They will criticize. But God will fight for you. You will have an answer. Everything will go well. Wendell Johnson brother. You will stay in the new place. 
you will go through the island and things will be coming favorable everything will go well sharail kolondono story peace at home you will fly abroad and sun is healed you will never have to look back perfection in life shaji walagam brother the bronchitis is healed and payment is done new chapter is going to begin and protection from pandemic you will pass the test new things will be added lena gravina sister new house you are getting healing over your skin chains are broken there will be provision and visitors bring happy news rachel israel sister foreign travels are there do not be upset and god will enlarge your territory you will prophesy and money will be released you are entering into the next level welcome sister jiji charyan agreements are executed your son is blessed you will travel and new new languages are given holy spirit is coming to you you will be filled by his grace and you will stay in the new villa tracy mosley infection is healed and you will never be hospitalized you will travel you will get a new job and you will go by your own vehicle becky sosa sister no need of medicine protection from pandemic you will preach an allergy is healed the children will be obedient and everything will go well in the name of jesus if if anyone has not received the word you can comment that i have not received the word so do not uh, be hesitated to comment i have not received the word but if you have received the word don't write like that so sometimes uh, uh, i am also confused whether i, I have given the word g sam abraham welcome g sam abraham brother you will have the office established the new building is coming and you will lead others and everything will go well the ministry that is entrusted to you will be established and you will do greater things and promotion in your life greater things you will see welcome sister paula winlock you will travel to many nations and financially blessed eyes are opened and the disease is healed the enemy is defeated greater things you will see everything will go well hallelujah mrs rambo new chapter is going to begin and you are going to be honored you will fly your family will be with you new status family status god is giving you everything will go well ishmael ruiz no need of medicine promises are come to pass new house and you will stay in the furnished house allergy is sealed new clothes you will wear myra munis surely the lord will touch you the lord will bless you you will see your generation what you have been waiting that is coming and you will eat good food everything will go well you will go by the new way anim pamai sister there is a travel and uh, you are healed protected from the enemies the plan of enemy is overthrown and you will be seated in the new seat no one will occupy your seat everything will go well in the name of jesus hallelujah kimberly matthew scott sister your son will honor you you will stay in the new house and everything will go well you will stay in the new house and everything will go well and financial uh, areas are blessed 
peace at home. You will get the title. I see one name, Sister Janine Digio. Not received a word. Okay, if anyone has not received the word, you can write like that. So it will be easy. Uh, uh, J Sister Janine Digio. Healing over your skin. And you will stay with your husband. Allergy is healed. Your son will be honored. Your elder son will do the ministry. And financial area is blessed. Money is released. I see the name here. Tonja Rena Thomas. The Lord will enlarge your territory. You will fly abroad. Greater things you will see. Coming out from all the depression. Hallelujah. Carmen Cruz sister. Your son is blessed. You will stay in new address. Everything will go well. And promotion are coming. And you will uh, do greater things. Your house will be a house of prayer. So I am, I am checking those who have, uh, I am checking those who have liked uh, the video. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus. So I, I got, I received. Uh, I am looking the names here. So, I am checking the names here. Align H. The bronchitis is healed. And you will stay in the new house. You will pass the test. Everything will go well. And financial blessings are coming. Money is released. The word for you, sister. Align H. Ludashi. Uh, signs and wonders you will see. Boldness to take decision. The Lord will give you abundance. The area you are doing will be blessed. You will start doing and it will be successful. Cynthia Hall, sister. You will write it in a book and you will stay in the city and everything will go well. You will have a new house and Promises are come to pass. Welcome. I see the name. Ania Pauline. Infection is healed. Take care of your belongings. The enemy is trying to follow you. The Lord has separated you for the kingdom. And everything will go well. Chains are broken. I see the name here. Joycey Law. Do not be upset. The Lord will settle your cases. Things will be moving fast. God will do greater things in your life. Payment is done. And the Lord will establish you in the name of Jesus. I see a bony Wakefield, a new address. You will get the title. You will start the business. The clothes will be sold. And financial breakthrough. Trevor Candy brother. New journeys are there. Physically healed. What God has given to you. You go in that way. Do not get depressed. The Lord will settle your problems. And everything will go well. Rena Naik sister. Family peace. Open your eyes to Jesus. And Jesus will speak to you. Things will be moving very fast. Everything will come at the right time. Welcome brother Binu Sri Sri Ragam. Sri <coughs> Binu Sri Ragam. Agreements are executed. New journeys are there. You will go to Middle East. And more power is coming. You will find the treasures. You will start a project. And everything will go well. In the name of Jesus, Leo Dinho Tumal, power of God is coming. You will stay in the new place. New office is set up. Chains are broken. Allergy is sealed. Staying in the new town and agreements are executed. Mary Martha, sister, you will get the title. You will stop on the midway and stay in your relative's house. And finance is opening. You will minister for the Lord. 
Joy Chari and brother, the Lord will enlarge your territory and greater things you will see. Financial blessings are coming, payment is done and chains are broken, you will get the title and office is renewed. Healing over your skin. A Watney Square, there is flight travel and money is released. New house you will stay, your, your family will be honored. Julie Nelly Rui's sister, your son is blessed and allergy is sealed. You will have good food and new title you will get. Do not be upset, says the Lord. I see the name here as Barbara Rivera. New car is coming. Agreements are executed. Financial blessing. Money is released. Do not be upset. Chest infection is sealed. Lucy bias. You will visit many nations and Lord will give you abundance. There will be the power of God upon you and you will complete the task. Everything will go well. Koni Subi Sarate. New journeys are there. Staying in the new house. Agreements are executed and lifestyle is changing. Do not be upset, says the Lord. April stills. You will write the book and enemy is defeated. People may question you, but God is going to honor you. Everything is coming right and you will establish. You will be established and family is blessed. God is giving you efficiency to grasp the things. Matthew D. Pearson Brother, welcome. Chains are broken and new agreements are executed. You will stay in new house. Your ministry doors are widening and God is going to establish you. Welcome. I see the name here. Uh, I'm checking the names here. Uh, Hallelujah. I'm checking. I'm thankful to see everyone who has liked the video. So you like the page also. I see many names you have liked. Hallelujah. So uh, another thing is that uh, when I pray, not only I am prophesying here, I will pray to uh, for in my prayer life, every person who watch my video, who like my video, who comment on my video, who share my video. I pray for everyone who are believers in my church, like that. So it is not just, uh, uh, you are getting a prayer also, not only a word now. That's why I told you to like the video. I see the name here. Ko Koni Subi Sarate. Agreements are executed. Do not be upset. New house. Financial breakthrough. You will stay in new house. Shivagumar brother. The Lord will honor you. The family will be blessed. The new office is set up. And new agreements are executed. You will stay in the new house. Karina Ru Ruiz. Infection is sealed. Payment is done, new house and new business. There is a journey coming, everything will go well. Adriana Vela, you will see open heaven and chains are broken. Abundance, I see, plentiness. The Lord will settle your problems. Do not be upset. Hallelujah. I see the name Maria Velen. New car is coming, address is changing. You will, you are healed, the skin allergy is healed and payment is done. Frequent travels are there, everything will go well. Raju, I see the name, Raju N is at Y. I see like that, I cannot pronounce. Raju, Raju C. Promises are come to pass and uh, you will settle in the new place. The ministry doors are opening for you and financial blessings are coming and you will get the title. There is a journey coming. Francis Poco, 
brother new generation and things will be changing someone who left you will be coming back and everything is restored you will stay in the new house everything will go well financial blessings edisa kalum pang greater things you will see infection is zeal and there will be holy spirit i see waterfalls you are receiving holy spirit the power of god is coming you are getting the title everything will go well you yuanginio mondale humble yourself and god is going to lift you up yuanginio mondale the lord will honor you settlement in family affairs the ministry doors are opening there is a flight travel everything will go well lavina disusa everything is coming perfect and you will travel by train allergy is sealed the business will start and peace will stay do not be upset sasa stephane nicu chains are broken new agreements are executed the power of god is coming and change in lifestyle jesail othlan eyes are open healing over your skin bronchitis is sealed a new chapter is coming keep away from unwanted people elsa barona everything will go well and healing over your body promises are come to pass and things will be moving peace will stay you will stay in the new house you will get new house sissy alex i have given the word to you sister nimmi thomas sister you will possess the land and chains are broken you will get the title your daughter is blessed and husband is returning everything will go well you will do the ministry obo odion joseph new house new house and uh, emptiness is filled by his grace the business is going to start and uh, you will stay in the town and physically heal payment is done alexis oria kunsbury you will stay in the new villa and family is restored do not be upset greater things you will see financial blessings are coming kevsi kevsi you will work for the lord do not listen what the worldly people are saying god will honor you what you are doing god will accept it and your boundaries are going to be enlarged in the name of jesus hallelujah in the name of jesus and i am checking the names here hallelujah reka alex sister eyes are open new languages you will you will be given new house you will fly abroad do not be upset ashok chandragand raindula brother the infection is healed and you will stay abroad allergy is healed and you will do the new business and everything will go well peace at home shanti menaces the lord will establish you do not be upset chains are broken family status i see financial breakthrough is coming greater things you will see low callings do not uh, rely on the things that you see the lord will do greater things you are protected from pandemic and allergy is zeal payment is done and everything will go well hallelujah so i see the name here i see may tri- may tokoro may tokoro flight travel is there new journeys are coming agreements are executed everything will go well do not be upset hallelujah and uh, the lord will honor you i see another name here shelly branan you will go to the european nations 
and Lord will settle your problems. Eyes are open, new address is coming, everything will go well, you will write and it will be established. Irshad Khan, sudden changes are coming in your life, you will prophesy, things will be going well and healing over your body. Do not be upset, says the Lord. And financial breakthrough is coming. Ronald, I see the name, Fernandez Abrusaldo, coming out from the wilderness, greater things you will see, an infection is healed, uh, perfection in lifestyle. You will see open heaven, you will do the ministry. Magbai Jali, you will pass the test, new journeys are there, agreements are executed, you will get the title. I see the name here, Kribashini Krips, allergy is healed, do not be upset, the Lord will establish you, your daughter is healed. Barun Bachar, new agreements are executed, you will preach and you will do the ministry, agreements are executed, you will get the title, do not be upset. Financial blessings are coming, staying in new house, Grace Tutagalabo. New car is coming, there is a travel, you will go abroad, you will go to Middle East and everything will go well, financial blessings are coming. Your address is changing, I see the name Roda Naithaba Buho. Do not look back, you will get the title, the money is released, chains are broken, new address you will get. Welcome brother Jos Lopez. You will visit a foreign nation, you will be established, you will start a school and everyone will be blessed and through your hands many people will enter the promise. God will enlarge your territory. I see the name here, Maureen Hernandez. Flight travels are there, infection is healed, a new title you will get. Do not be upset, says the Lord and everything will go well. Carol Smith, sister, fresh anointing, protection from pandemic, you will be established, you will do the ministry in the church. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. I see the name here, Yermina Jacquus. Title is changing and names are changed. You will minister, flight travels are there. Do not be upset, everything will go well. I see the name Sandra Naidu. You will see open heaven, infection is healed. Do not be upset. Your house is renewed and your children will get the prize. I see the name here Matilda Pais. Matilda Pais. The Lord will establish you. Your son is healed. Agreements are executed. You will do the ministry. Chains are broken. Hallelujah. Aida Morales, this is not the end. You will start the journey again. Everything will go well. Physically healed. New address you are getting. I see one more name is Mandan Varma. Mandan Varma. Power of God is coming. You and your family will be honored. Lord has separated you for the kingdom and everything will go well. Physically healed. You will stay in new house. So I have given the word to everyone. I am thankful to see all of your names. So uh, everyone, I think even if I have missed, maybe I have missed some of your names, but uh, you can uh, watch my other videos. Every day I will be coming in YouTube. You can watch my YouTube videos. There, there I'll, I will be coming. Uh, so the Eastern time has changed. Uh, but the Indian time is the same. The Indian time is same. So I will I will be coming in the Indian time uh, in YouTube and in Facebook. Only the Eastern time has changed. So I will uh, change uh, in the in my uh, flyer. Only the Eastern time changing. The Indian time is same. So Vinita Roni sister, your parents are blessed. You will stay in the new house. There is a journey abroad. You will 
you and your children will be honored everything will go well so this is the word nothing can separate us from the love of jesus if you are depressed that means you are separated from jesus you know there was a thief who was crucified with jesus he said jesus remember me in your in your kingdom so what we can understand from that even at the time of death he is he is going to die he is going to die that the thief who is going to, there, there were two thieves there were two people who are who were crucified with jesus one did not accept jesus but the other one is going to be crucified but at the time of death he said jesus remember me in your kingdom so he is focusing on eternity he knows that there is a eternal life there is a kingdom so those who are aware of it those who have knowledge about the eternity they won't get they won't get depressed if they are deprived from the worldly blessings who are those deprived who are those people who are depressed or anxious those people who do not have much knowledge about the eternity when you when you travel in a train or in a bus sometimes you 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 won't get the seat you will have to stand and travel maybe when you stand when you fly when you travel in a flight you won't get the luggage in the right position but that is not throughout your life it is only for some hours it is only for that travel because you know that travel is to a certain place and that difficulty is not throughout your life it is only it is only to some extent you know very well because it is a travel so if you are a spiritual person you know that your life is here is a year is only for a certain period you are not thinking about um, your blessings all that time you are thinking about eternal life your eyes will be in jesus not in the worldly things you need the worldly things but even if you get or even if you not get that is not bothering you you are you are always connected with jesus every time you are connected with heaven not in this world <coughs> that is why paul said in the book of philippians in the book of philippians chapter 3 you can see our citizenship is in heaven so if your citizenship is in heaven your your original visa is there not in any any nations visa your original uh, promises are there not a house that may be coming down or uh, dismantled when an earthquake happens but your home is not a home here in this world your home is there in heaven if you have that revelation nothing will separate you from uh, even death life or anything because you are living in a spiritual realm and people cannot understand you those people who are uh, living in the flesh fleshly realm those people who are walking in the worldly life they cannot understand because you are walking in the spiritual realm you are walking with angels you are worshiping with angels you don't bother whether you are in which church whether you are in the big church or you are in the small church whether your pastor is anointed or whether your pastor is not anointed you are not bothered because you are in the spiritual realm how many of you understand because you are in another level 
the worldly people are thinking which which church is good which pastor is good you you are focusing in the word of god because you are your personality is not here your personality is in heaven that is what paul is mentioning about the angels the people who worship angels the people who worship uh, many men of god people who worship uh, uh, you know hero worship people who worship churches they say my church is good my denomination is good that is what paul is mentioning angels nothing can separate it. No, no denomination some people say my denomination is good my uh, the teachings of my denomination is good they have a separate uh, book like that but nothing can separate us from the love of jesus that is uh, if you have jesus in you you won't think like these things you won't say because you are connected with heaven you are worshiping with angels when you read the book of uh, revelation chapter 7 you can find that worship is going chapter 7 uh, from my remembrance i say uh, saying chapter 7 every time worship is going there and you are not bothered you know what uh, what the people in heaven the angels they have no financial problem there are four creatures there are 24 elders 12 and 12 on either side of uh, god jehovah they are worshiping the four creatures they are worshiping god the angels are worshiping god they have no financial problem they have no family problem they have no earthly problems because they are always engaged in worship if you are engaged in worship uh, you have no worries you know a person who have taken baptism is seated in the heavenly places you can uh, find that verse the book of ephesians chapter the book of ephesians chapter 2 4 to 6 verses a person who takes baptism is seated in the heavenly places so you are in the heavenly places you are not thinking worldly things so this is the word preeti malita sister coming out from depression think of the things of heaven and you are delivered you will get a new title everything will go well the word for you sister preeti malita promises are come to pass sister kim hunsbury apostle richard simmons new agreements are executed rachel sister you will fly abroad and sandy beach sister new journeys are there teresa pradeepa sister you will write the book and carmen cruz sister anointing is increasing and low callings the lord has separated you for the kingdom hallelujah in the name of jesus maria morales change in address hallelujah in the name of jesus so this is the word and i have given the word to everyone here steven d nilo address is changing stefro sister the lord will take you to many nations shanti morono you are healed your family is blessed mary morales i see the name morales emptiness is filled by his grace and shanti mensis agreements are executed new journeys are there in the name of jesus so i have given the word carol smith sister you will minister in the new place and may tucker in you know, allergy is healed awareness square new address is coming joy charyan brother you will be given more efficiency elsa barona new title you will get so uh, i am thankful to see all of you here uh, tomorrow tomorrow same time i will be ministering in this page so i am thankful to see all of you this is the word nothing can separate you from the love of god in christ jesus so god bless everyone jesus name amen